What do we have here? <laughs> a little human all ended up. How do you feel? <laughs> no need to be sarcastic. Oh, who am I? I don't have to explain myself. I'll show myself. Well, no, no, that doesn't matter anymore. Anyways, so what got you all uh, rough, roughed up here? Oh, you were attacked. <laughs> oh, come on, you don't need to be so aggressive. I know you're going to die any minute now. <laughs> I know I have a way to prevent it, but I don't care. How about this? If I save you, you will have to help me. <laughs> I can't tell you. You just have to accept. Will you take the chance? Tick-tock, tick-tock. Time's ticking, human. I'm, I don't have all day. I have more important things to do. Good choice. Now, just hold still. And there. Oh, you surprised what I did. <laughs> I'm not human. Why else would I call you little human? Oh, please. You don't act like that with the supernatural. But now it's my end of the deal. You cannot back out on it. <laughs> oh, please. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm not a sadist. <laughs> or maybe I am. Who knows? But not in that regard. Anyways, um, you're perfectly capable of walking on your own, so follow me. But this makes me wonder, why were you in the middle of the forest? Of course, there's going to be a lot of people who are really dangerous and can immediately kill you. Me being one of them. But I'm not in a bad mood today, so consider yourself lucky. Oh, luckier than getting attacked by a bunch of bandits, but hey, who who wants to talk now? Oh, you are trying to sell some stuff by going through a forest? Really? Do you, did you really think that was a good idea? Taking a shortcut? Really? Shortcuts always have consequences, you do know that. There's always a risk in the easier things in life. <laughs> exactly, like this deal that you just made with the supernatural. Oh god. You should know that. Anything that you do, anything that you say will have some sort of repercussions, be it good, bad, or absolutely nothing happening. Well, of course nothing, nothing, nothing. Wait, how do I explain this? Eh, whatever, not like it matters. Everything happens for a reason. And the reason that you stumbled upon me happened for that exact reason. It just happened. And I'm not like, going to let you go. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? Okay. Well, I own a shrine. And I need you to help me clean it. Yes, you're going to be my maid or something in that regard. But I need someone to manage my shrine for a while. So that duty is going to be for you. Oh god, I really do not want to manage myself. Do you know how hard it is to clean? Well, yes, I can use my maid powers but i rather not use it in menial things and i'm not and i rather not get my hands dirty trying to clean it up so it's better to get a little human in my side and 
for them to clean it up like you <laughs> call me lazy i do not care but would you really start insulting your savior right now i know i wouldn't i really don't care insult me all you want human it won't affect me if you met anyone else they would have cut you off right here and now but you're lucky i'm so nice <laughs> uh, i don't need you to tell me that i'm so full of, of myself i know that i am full of myself because come on you get to meet greatness itself like who has the chance to do that not everybody gets to meet me I am that great, but you just don't have any taste, do you? A little human with no taste at all. That's what you are. But hey, I think you're at least capable enough to actually clean my shrine for me. And actually keep it tidied up. You might also have some other tasks, like um, keeping animals away from the shrine to not damage it alongside with humans as well because they stumble upon it more often than not and try to make wishes constantly when i literally put uh you know what <sighs> humans and their wishes constantly wishing for something to change instead of trying it themselves Oh, please, you don't need to tell me that some things cannot be changed. You pathetic humans are so weak that nothing that you do will change your pathetic, sad excuse of a life. <laughs> Call me mean, I don't care. <sighs> but you're lucky that you get to hear my voice. I'm not used to speaking with humans, but hey... It's your lucky day. Hi. <sighs> what? You are the one who told me to be quiet. I'm only following your orders, little human. <laughs> no. I'm not speaking to you anymore. I'm ignoring you. Shush. You're annoying, you know that. Stop. Stop, jeez. You know. There, now you can't speak anymore. <sighs> You're wondering what I did. I just put a little spell on you to keep your mouth shut. You deserve it. After all, you were being quite loud and annoying by making mimicking sounds. I do not like when you do that, human. You should know that. Anyways, we're getting closer. And here we are. I can see the awe in your face, human. I know it's a really grand place, isn't it? It's quiet and serene without any interruptions. Sometimes when there's no humans or animals to interrupt my peace. Oh, please, I was just taking a walk. I normally prefer to stay in here, but hey, what, what else can I say? Anyways, follow me, I'll take you to your room. Tomorrow you will start cleaning up. The place, I'll tell you everything that you need to know. <laughs>